Hey everybody, this is Eric Worre and welcome to NetworkMarketingPro.com. I'm here in Minneapolis with an old friend, Mr. John Haremza. And John is somebody who I would call, I don't know if we, we're probably both veterans at this stage of our careers, but uh, he's been involved in the, in the profession for a long time, makes over a million dollars a year, as do all the people that we interview on this program. And um, John happened to be coming through town, and John lives in Fargo, Fargo, North Dakota. Fargo, North Dakota. Uh, I'm here in Minneapolis, so he happened to be in town. So I, I, uh, we've been threatening to do this for a little bit, and we finally figured it out. So John, welcome. Thank you. Great to be here. I appreciate it very much. Um, we don't have anything scripted for for this program, but I'm going to just start off by saying you make over a million dollars a year when other people are struggling to make $1,000 a year. What makes you special? Well, I think uh, I think it's living in Fargo, North Dakota. <laughs> I mean, if you could make a million dollars a year living in Fargo, I believe you can go wherever you live as well. So, but seriously though, what, you know, what, what's different? What, what do you do that's different? You know, I believe um, the whole basis of network marketing is belief. You know, people by people. It's your passion, your posture, your belief and enthusiasm about what it is you do that will attract or influence others. And I believe the thing that holds most people back is their belief structure. I mean, they, they need to, number one, invest in themselves. You know, because, you know, people enter this business on faith, right? Faith in the company, faith in the products, you know, faith in network marketing, faith that everything that they have been, that's been shared with them is real. And they're very fragile. And so, uh, you know, one of the things that I, when I bring a new person in, a new member joins the team, and, you know, I look at that person, you know, they got the highest level of anxiety, the, the least amount of knowledge, and they're very, very fragile. And so you need to wrap your arms around these people. And, and you know, that, uh, I think it's John Addison that talks about, you know, the goal is to keep them in one more day. And, and you know, be that person's life support system. You know, to, to, to have that transition from, from faith to belief. And so when you have a distributor in that faith mode, uh, you need to take the responsibility to wrap your arms around them because you know the least little negative can blow them out of the business. So I think uh, it's it's my belief structure um, has tremendous influence. And how did I build that belief structure? Um, you know, I turned my car into a university on wheels. I mean, everywhere I went, I mean, I was listening to the Jim Rowans, you know, the Earl Nightingales, the, you know, the W. Clement Stones. I mean, listened to all of the company CDs, just flooding myself with, with belief and knowledge. And, uh, you know, on the conference calls, using the product, um, you know, attending the events, witnessing, uh, you know, others that you can relate with. You know, I remember, I remember one of my... Um, experiences I had at, at one of the first big national conferences uh, with NSA yeah. and um, you know I was two years into this thing and this this old couple you might remember the story walks across the stage and they start talking about you know um, uh, they just became national market directors four years <laughs> and I still remember it because uh, the husband starts talking about you know you know I don't think those first two years we sold anything yeah. And the wife interrupts and says, "Nani, that's not true. We sold the house, we sold the car, we sold the boat." <laughs> but but it's that type of persistence, it's that type of belief in the future that burn your bridge behind you. I am going to make this happen because people can sense if you're hesitant. I mean, if you don't truly believe, they can even if you don't say it. It's your actions, uh, and and I think that's what holds most people back. It's that belief structure. 